Good Filipino afternoon to everybody. Derek with Q Adventures here. Uh, we just made our trip here to Talavera from Angeles City. And um, Angeles City is cool and all. It's a cool experience and all, but uh, it's really not my flavor. So we shot over this morning to uh, I's sister's house just to um, pay her a visit. She's been very helpful in the process of getting I's um, uh, passport and all. So uh, we just finished came in, coming back from um, Jollibee with all these kids. I don't know why he's hiding his face. <laughs> Which one that was driving the motorbike? You, right? Yeah, because they're twins, so I can't tell them difference. The father is Filipino, the mother's Filipino, but they got Chinese eyes. You explain that. <laughs> yeah, he was driving the motorbike uh, with me and I in back, but uh, that was pretty cool. But anyway, you know, like the family, um, I's brother-in-law and his family lives on, in this compound, which is very fascinating in itself because in the United States, you know, everybody is so... Um, stoked about being independent and uh individuality but over here in the philippines uh their family even though you know like they're a big unit and they all have their own family uh within this compound they each built their own house to keep their you know family um privacy so this is the sister's house right and then this is one of the brother's house and then another brother's house and today i have the privilege uh, I was very lucky that uh, the older brother, the eldest brother, owns a Sari Sari store. And I know a lot of people in the West has questions about, you know, like uh, how profitable and stuff like that about Sari Sari stores here. Heard some crazy um, uh, horror stories about foreigners sponsoring their uh, Filipinas and opening a Sari Sari store. And I myself, from uh, observation... You know, there are thousands and thousands of Sari Sari stores here. So let's just talk to the owner here to uh, get some in-depth information about this. What is your name, sir? Eddie. Eddie? I'm Derek, by the way. Nice meeting you. And what is your name, ma'am? Nori. Nori? Pleasure meeting you. And you're uh, Eddie's wife? Yes. Excellent. So how long have you had this Sari Sari store? Uh, five years. Five years. Almost, Almost five years. So did you build this comp? I mean, this uh, building right here specifically for the Sorry Sorry store, or was it already here? Uh, <laughs> Honey, <Yes>. translator, <laughs> Tra can I come in? Is it okay? I take off my shoes. Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's okay. So how um, did they did they build this? place specifically for the sorry sorry store or was it already here and they made it into a sorry sorry store just for the store only he built it for this uh, sorry sorry store oh so he built this this wasn't here before he built it five years ago to have a sorry sorry store yeah how many sorry sorry stores are there on this block so there are six so sorry sorry stores yes, in, this space. in this place okay and uh, do these sorry sorry stores sell pretty much the same products as you do, or different? Same, just the same. Just the same. Yes. And do they sell like uh, the same products for different prices or same price? Uh, same price. Same price. Yes. So, um, as far as your customers concerned, you know, like what what have a customer come to your sorry sorry store versus the five other sorry sorry store? How how do they choose which one to go to? For the customers, how do the customers choose what Sorry Sorry store to go to? Like, why why would they choose this Sorry Sorry store versus the other Sorry Sorry store? She said that just a regular customer, that's why they just come back. Oh, so regular customer, they're accustomed to coming here, so they continue to support you. Oh, okay, and not the neighbor or something like that. Okay, so like these products right here, you know, like um, do the do they do the people the companies deliver it to you or do you go no, to? I buy. You buy? Yes. Where do you buy from? Market. Like Groceries. a local market? Yes, grocery. Uh, friendship. friendship grocery. Oh, friendship grocery. So you go once a week, twice a week. Ha -ha. Every day. You go every day to yes. restock. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I buy six pieces only. Oh, you buy only six pieces at a time. 
And then when you uh, you know start to sell out, then you go to the grocery market uh, to buy more. Yes. Okay. Now, like, um, what is the profit margin? Like a bag of coffee like this, a single serve. How much do you buy it for? Twenty. You buy for twenty. Yes, twenty. How much do you sell it for? Twenty-three. You sell it for twenty-three. Yes, for so, sale. three peso profit. Yes. Only. Okay. okay. And um, do you keep books? Do you keep records of all your profits? No. So just whatever you sell and whatever the. So you don't know what your profits are every day. Yes. Oh, okay. So you just count the money and you put it in the safe right here. Oh, ice only. Ice and ice candy. Oh, okay. So how how do you how do you know if you're uh, if you're making profit or if you're losing money if you don't keep books if you don't keep records? Plastic, 20 pesos in plastic. Ano, yung puho, ano tawag sa puho na lang? Tawag doon. Yung profits ko. Tapos, 20 pesos in... How, many, how much profits do you make each day? Do you know? She said she didn't know. She doesn't know? Okay. So these little bags right here of oil, cooking oil, right? Oil, pump oil. Pump oil? Yeah. Palm oil or yes. pump, pump oil? Pump. pump. Oil. Oh, okay. What is -L -M, pump? P A. Oh, palm oil. Okay. So, like, do you buy a big bottle and then you put it in the small bags like this? Yes. Yeah. I buy one liter. Uh huh. And I repack it. Okay. Ten pesos and five pesos. Oh, okay. So you buy one liter and then you put, you know, like into a smaller bag and then a little bit bigger bag for 10 peso and 5 peso. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is pretty fascinating. You know, they just have this is generally how the the operation work. You know, they buy the family size packages and then they open it. Yeah. These doughy donuts right here. And then they sell individual uh, packages. And um, the profit is pretty minuscule. Uh, most sorry, sorry stores that I've talked to, I uh, never had the opportunity to talk to anybody, you know, in their store, you know, on premise and stuff like that, and asking direct questions. But just from the uh, uh, general consensus, it's just that uh, they don't keep track of the profit. So you know, like as far as how much electricity you guys use, and how much you know, like. Um, uh, money you make from the refrigerated products, you don't know. Right? So about 2,500 each month for th only this refrigerator. Okay. And how much profit do you make from this refrigerator? Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, there's there's a um, you know, like a a record. <laughs> what is this? This is all oh, the loan. Ah, that's the name to the person who like paid it to their store. Oh, these are the people that owe the money. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so basically the electric bill, you know, is they keep track of the cost of the electric bill, but as far as you know, the ice that is being produced here and uh, whatever refrigerated uh, products that they, they, they store in there, 
um, it's difficult to get a a precise answer or you know like um, uh, I'm sure there's a system somewhere but I'm not able to get a uh, a clear system you know of whatever it is that is being sold in here you know does it outweigh the cost of the electricity but as far as everything else you know the profit margin you know seems like between two and five pesos for each package that is sold and um they make daily runs uh and that is very common you know i guess um uh time is uh not as important as it is uh with our you know with the foreigners compared to the foreigners hence the filipino time system and um they make daily runs i mean you know like um i wouldn't be able to run this business because it'll be it, it, um illogical to myself but you know i'm not here to it is just only my opinion i'm not here to you know like uh change any systems or anything like that just as as an observer and trying to understand you know like a uh, sorry sorry store operations but this is very neat you know they they have a small business and uh i'm sure it turns a profit and uh records are not kept but we have an opportunity to get a little bit of an insight about uh, Sorry Sorry Store Systems stores. But um, this is a lot more organized than what the other stores that I have seen. You know, like uh, these shelves are placed with the same products. And everything uh, is neatly organized. So, you know, this system is effective and efficient. So they can keep... Uh, monitor of their um, inventory as well you know to see what what need to be restocked or like this coffee right here single use they only have two left so I'm sure she'll be buying more tomorrow in the store right <laughs> yeah so when customers come and ask for coffee you won't say oh it's not available but uh, this is very neat you know thank you very much guys for tuning in today and um, <laughs> yeah thank you thank you very much and thank you my viewers for tuning in today this is just a small insight about sorry sorry stores so the next time your filipina asks you to uh fund her for a sorry sorry store now you know about a little bit about uh what is entailed you know there isn't really any record keeping or any kind of organized um plans or anything like that so it's just a daily profit and you know like whatever they have they re-up on the inventory and the rest they will spend on their daily uh needs and necessity meanwhile thank you very much for tuning in i am always grateful of your patronage and viewership meanwhile until next time have a good one